you know that if you have a DSLR of any kind, that you can start taking pictures just like the ones that you're seeing on this page right now. You do not need an expensive camera to take pictures like this. You just need a basic DSLR. And here's why. A lot of people think that if they have the best gear that they can make the best photographs. Now that is completely untrue, especially if you don't have the right knowledge and creativity. If you have creativity and ideas, and you know about things like composition and light, you can make way better pictures with your camera than the photographer who doesn't know about those things but has the most expensive $20,000 camera. The camera is not important at all. See, in trick photography and special effects, you want to focus more on the creative and artistic artistic ideas and less about the gear. The gear is just a tool. A good photographer will know how to use the basic fundamental principles of photography to take a good image with any camera. All DSLRs, they all have a manual mode and that is what I'm going to be showing you how to use in this course to create artistic images. So if you have a DSLR in your house right now, I don't care what it is or what it's called, I'm going to show you how to use it to create really artistic images. These pictures that you're seeing right here, all of these pictures were made with a Nikon D50 camera, which if you don't know what type of camera that is, it's the first basic entry level DSLR that Nikon released back in 2005. Now because they don't make this camera anymore, you can actually get this one used for 230 bucks on eBay. That's what I found recently. Or you could get a, a newer camera and it, it would still have it be the most basic entry level model and still be able to take cool pictures just like what you're seeing right here. In fact, let me show you a little trick that you can use with any camera right off the bat. See the little thing that says shutter speed? If you raise that number to make it longer, whenever you take a picture now, your camera will be on for several seconds taking a picture for that amount of time. Now this is really cool because what you can do is take a light and then move it around the frame and you can actually record light trails with that. And people, if you've heard of this technique before, it's called light painting, but most people think that, oh, I just, I'm just, I just, I just wave a flashlight around and then it's done. Well, actually, it's a whole art form in and of itself because there are dozens of different types of lights that you can use in light painting and all of them have a specific use. And you have to know how to move the lights in certain ways in order to create certain shapes and things like that. And that is the type of stuff that I'm going to be showing you inside the course. And now if you also have Photoshop, you can get really creative in addition to just using your camera. You can do both. We'll only be using Photoshop for about a third of everything taught inside. So if you don't have Photoshop, don't feel left out. You can still do many, many tricks inside of the course. For example, in this picture, I love giving this as an example because it, it gets a lot of people's attention and it's just it's just funny. In this picture, I had a my camera on a tripod and I was just photographing this room here. And what I did is I went down to my bank and I withdrew about $800. $800 171 to be exact and then after that I went around placing the money in different areas of the frame and then taking a picture and then I moved the money into a different place of the frame took another picture and I kept repeating that process over and over again until finally it looks like I have a million dollars inside of this room which is really cool now, I like showing how to do this one because it's one of the simpler tricks and anyone can do it if they have Photoshop so that's just one trick I like to show I'll show it in much more detail inside the full course but you don't need the latest and greatest version of Photoshop. You can use Photoshop CS2, CS3, CS4, or the latest, which is CS5. And if you're using Photoshop Elements, you can use Photoshop Elements 10, and you can still get away with doing many things, including this trick, inside of the course. All right, so just to wrap everything all up, inside of the course, you're going to be getting a 300-page ebook that gives step-by-step -step instructional content on how to create artistic images. I'm not going to be showing you how to take boring pictures of flowers and trees here. I'm actually going to show you all my hardcore secrets on how to take really interesting photos that grab people's attention and have them wonder how you took this shot because I get that question so many times whenever I show my pictures to anyone. They all ask the same thing. How the heck did you take that picture? After you're done with the course, you're going to know how to get people to ask you that same question and how you can actually get a heads up on getting more views on your pictures, winning photo contests, and things like that. Plus, on top of the 300 page ebook that I'm giving you, I'm also going to be sending you nine hours of instructional video content. You can visually see each and every individual button that I'm going to be pushing on my camera and each click that I make inside of Photoshop. So you can replicate my results exactly step by step 
without any confusion. You're gonna be seeing everything that I do behind the scenes. It'll be like literally spending the weekend with me, having me show you all the cool things I know about photography in a weekend. That's what this is. Plus, on top of that, if there's anything you don't like about this course for any reason, or even no reason, just email me and I will refund your money completely because I don't want your money if you're not satisfied with my product. I'll be much happier.